Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In today's video, we are going to discuss question 3 of exercise 2.3, chapter 2, polynomials. This is in your new textbook given as exercise 2.3. In old book, it's given as 2.4. Find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of px in each of the following cases. So we need to find the value of k. k is a constant and it is given that x minus 1 is a factor of px. We need to use factor theorem here. First problem px equals to x squared plus x plus k. We need to find the value of k this constant using factor theorem. Factor theorem states that x minus a is a factor of px. x minus a is a factor of px if p of a is equal to 0. That means we set x minus a to 0, we get x as a and then we find p of a. So in this case, x minus 1 is a factor. So set x minus 1 equals to 0, x equals to 1 and now we will find p of 1. p of 1 is equal to 0. Why? Because x minus 1 is a factor that is given to us. Substitute the value of 1 in place of x. This is p of x. We are finding p of 1. So 1 squared plus 1 plus k is equal to 0. 1 squared is 1 plus 1 plus k is equal to 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 plus k equals to 0 which implies that 2 take it to the other side. This is plus 2. So this will be minus 2. k equals to minus 2. This is the value of the constant. Second problem. Px equals to 2x squared plus kx plus square root of 2. So x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. So we will set x minus 1 equal to 0. x is equal to 1. Now we will find p of 1. p of 1 must be equal to 0 because x minus 1 is a factor. This is according to the factor theorem. Place x by 1, 2, 1 squared plus k into 1 plus root 2 equals to 0. 1 into 1 is 1. So this is 2 ones are 2 plus k into 1 is k plus root 2 equal to 0. Now we will take 2 and root 2 to the other side. So k is equal to and whenever we are changing sides, the sign changes. The number doesn't change. The sign changes. So 2 will become minus 2 and plus root 2 will become minus root 2. We can take minus as a common factor. So k is equal to minus 2 plus root 2. And that is the answer for k. Third part of the same problem px equals to kx squared minus root 2x plus 1. We need to find the value of k. It is given that x minus 1 is a factor of this given polynomial. So x minus 1 equals to 0. Set it to 0. We get x equals to 1. We need to find p of 1. And since x minus 1 is a factor p of 1 must be equal to 0 according to factor theorem. k 1 squared minus root 2 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. k 1 into 1 is 1 so k 1 is a k minus root 2 into 1 is root 2 plus 1 equals to 0. We need to shift minus root 2 and plus 1 to the other side. When we change the side, the sign changes. 
minus root 2 will become plus root 2 or just root 2 plus 1 will become minus 1. So, k is equal to root 2 minus 1. The last part of this problem, px equals to kx squared minus 3x plus k. So, here we have k two times here and here. Same way we would do x minus 1 is a factor of this. So, x minus 1 set it to 0. x is equal to 1 and p of 1 must be equal to 0 because x minus 1 is a factor. Find p of 1 by replacing x with 1. So, k 1 squared minus 3 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. p of 1 is equal to 0. So, this is p of 1 which is equal to 0. Simplify 1 into 1 times k. So, k minus 3 plus 1 is equal to 0. Sorry, there is a mistake. This is not 1. This is k. k is the constant. So, this is k. This is also k. k plus k is 2k. So, 2k minus 3 is equal to 0. Take 3 to the other side. Sign will change. 2k is equal to 3. 2 is multiplied by k. So, we need to divide by 2. k is equal to 3 by 2. And with this, we are done with question number 3.